Trisha's legacy in our organization is that she asked the tough questions to get the organization to move towards person-centered care for her dad, John, for herself as a family member, and for all the residents and families have come beyond her and um, will continue to uh, receive the benefits of her legacy years and years to come. The Martindale Award is something that Trish always wanted to do. In fact, all we did was talk about it every night at the dinner table. It really ought to be called the Trish Award because all I did was listen at dinner. Trish felt the Martindale Award was so important to recognize those people on the front line, the boots on the ground, that knew the residents the most, that spent the most time with them, knew their hobbies, their, their fears, their anxieties, their likes, their dislikes to make them feel the most comfortable. The family is extremely humbled and honored and proud that Trisha's legacy will live on through the Martindale Award uh, to inspire these frontline caregivers uh, to give the best care and experience for the residents. When Trish was contemplating creating the Martindale Award, uh, we talked about kind of what her intentions were. And to understand where she was at that point in her, in her life, you have to really understand a little bit about Trish. Trish learned to be a caregiver from her father. Her father cared for her mother for more than 25 years. And it was through that um, watching her dad care for um, his lovely wife that she really understood the value of our caregivers, the frontline staff members. Trish realized early on that something like person-centered care was what she wanted for her father at ERS because of the level of care that her father received from her primary caregiver, Vicki, hence the inspiration for the Martindale Award. Trish was um, very, very important to me, and you might think that I'm gonna say that she was important because she was such a smart uh, businesswoman and um, a wonderful board member, but um, that's not what was special to me about Trish. Uh, Trish was my friend and my mentor. Um, she saw me at my best and my worst, and she loved me because she saw me at my best and my worst. One story that kind of resonates the kind of person that Trish was, was last summer, um, I was seven months pregnant with Madeline and when she got sick. And every morning in the hospital, it was just the two of us. And even with her broken language following the stroke, she was always making sure that I had eaten, that I had drank plenty of water, um, that I, she'd move her legs over so that I could prop my feet up. Um, she made sure I wasn't, you know, my ankles weren't swollen and I didn't have hives and that I was taking care of myself. She'd send me home to be with our, my other daughter to take care of me. Trish cared about everybody. She cared about her, her son, me, her daughter, Kim, my wife, Carrie, son-in-law, Josh, our cousins, nephews, uh, loved ones and through organizations. Trish just genuinely cared about people and that will be her legacy for me.